Hello friends, in this session we will discuss about structural hazards. So uh, as you all know, we have dis already completed the topic of data hazards. Now I will be discussing about structural hazard and control hazard with which we will end up the topic of hazards in pipelining. So now first of all, what is a structural hazard first? Uh, let's just uh, understand its basic meaning and then we'll discuss it with the help of an example. So what is a structural hazard? So a structural hazard is basically it occurs due to the resource conflict in a pipeline. So there is a resource conflict. Now let's understand what is a resource conflict. A resource conflict is a situation when more than one instruction tries to access the same resource in the same cycle. By the same cycle, I mean in the same clock pulse. So it is very clear, please understand it very clearly, that a resource conflict is nothing but a situation in which two or more instructions try to access the same resource, which may be the same register, memory, uh, location or ALU. So they try to access the same register, let's say, in the same clock cycle. Right now, let's understand it with the help of an example. We have this example over here. We have three instructions, and we have their uh, labels as the two of them are add instruction, and the third one is the subtract instruction. Now, when you construct uh, this um, instruction table, what happens over here is you have four stages: if, id. EX, WV, instruction fetch, instruction decode, executing the instruction and then write back. So what you do first of all in the instruction fetch, you fetch all the three instructions one by one. Then in instruction decode, what you do is you start decoding these instructions one by one. So you write down add R2, R3, add R5, R6, subtract R1, R8. Then in execution, you try the ex you start the execution phase. You start adding R2, R3. You add R5, R6. You uh, subtract R1, R8. In the next uh, clock pulse cycle, what you do is next clock pulse, you start writing back the result. So this R2 plus R3 will eventually be stored in R1. So you write down that R1. You are storing the result in R1. Now, if you analyze this clock pulse this is very important in this at this point what you're doing is you're storing the result over here at this point and over here what you're doing in doing uh, over here what you're doing is you are basically uh, decoding this instruction and you're basically also uh, fetching the operands over here so this is a combination of two phases um, which is instruction decode and operand fetch ID and OF right so in detail we have discussed all these phases in our previous videos you can please go through them if you need to so just in order to recap or revise the concepts so over here in this clock pulse if you analyze r1 is being utilized or being used for two purposes one is you are fetching the operand details from here it is storing an operand and you are fetching that operand from here and in the same clock pulse what you are trying to do is you are trying to write back your result into it. Now this is where inconsistency arises. You can clearly figure out the problem over here. At one point you are uh, fetching a previous value stored in it and at the second point you are trying to write back overwrite the value present in R1 so this is a consistency and how do we avoid this cons uh, consistency this is very clear what you had to do was since I3 was coming after I1 you must have first stored the result in R1 delay the pipe delay the execution of this instruction till I am done with this and then you can clearly fetch this value of R1 for your next instruction of I3. So the solution is very simple. It is delay the pipe, delay I3's ID phase till I1 completes. Now delay the pipe is also known as pipeline bubbling, pipeline stall or pipeline break as we have already discussed in our previous video sessions. So that's all with this concept of structural hazard 
this very simple concept i'm sure you would have got the clarity of this concept in case you have any doubt any extra problems you can please post them as comments in the comment section below stay tuned for more videos coming up thank you thank you for this session